just had a customer drop in this random broken piece of plastic, I believe, from their shower, the shower door. And this piece is after getting obviously destroyed over the course of a few years of use. And we're going to 3D print a new one. So as you can see up there, I've already in Tinkercad designed a replacement because it's such a basic object. Uh, if someone brings me something simple like this, I can probably design it myself. But sometimes people uh, need more complex designs for me, which I just don't have the, desi the design experience to do that. But uh, we're after getting this one modeled up. Let's see if we can get it to uh, print on the printer. So here's the first test unit I did. I did it in carbon fiber by accident. I meant to do it in a white filament like these ones going here. And I seem to have got it pretty much exact. It's hard to get exact measurements from a device like that or from a, a part like that that's so deformed and warped and ruined. But that's about as close as I can get it. They're pretty much the exact same. But of course, they have to be done in white. So let's let these finish and uh, see what happens. This print has just finished. I think it literally just finished the second. Yeah, it's purging the last little bit of plastic, last little bit of filament. And there we have the six units that we needed. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's pop them off. Thanks. That's the stock. There we go. Let go. Nice. So as you can see, there is the original completely destroyed and there are the replacement parts right next to it. If it would stop rolling away. As you can see, I've got them as accurate as I can. These need a little bit of cleanup because there was an overhang, but other than that, they should work just fine. I did them 100% infill, so they're completely solid plastic. Hopefully it will last as long as these ones did. But uh, yeah, hopefully this helps that customer out. Nice.